Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to head swap with AI in Photoshop Beta. And also, we will dive deeper into using Select Subject, Move Tool, and Generative Fill with two models, Farfly Image 3 and Flux Context Pro. Now let's get started! So here in the document, I prepare here an image of this famous basketball player. And I also have here another image of this Asian celebrity. And our goal here is to put this man's face on the basketball player. The first step we're going to do is we're going to create a selection on the head. So to do that, go to the context tool taskbar, then select subject. Now we already have a selection on the subject. Now we're going to deselect on this part, all right? Because we just only want to get the head part, right? So I'm going to change my tool. So going onto the toolbar, click on this, I'll right click on this port tool, and then we're going to make use of the quick selection tool. Then from the options panel, I'm going to set this one to subtract selection. Then I'm going to start subtracting some selection on the body part, all right? Also on this neck part, okay? Then there you are all right so as if you have noticed we already have a selection on the head only then let's bring this face on the basketball player document so press v for the move tool or you can just go to the menu bar and click on the first tool here on top then click and drag it on this document and by the way if you find this video helpful so far please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Now I'm going to click and drag this Asian face here. And let's also rescale this one, right? Make sure that the size of the head and the size of, of the body is even. All right, so this size is okay. All right, so this one is okay in my case. Then hit enter. All right, then after that, we're going to create a selection on the image. So to select all, press Control or Command plus A. There you go. Then let's go to the context tool taskbar. But if you can't locate the context tool taskbar, you can just go to the menu bar, go to Windows, and find context tool taskbar. And this bar should appear. All right, so now let's go and click on Generative Fill. So for the prompt, I'm going to type down here, Blend the face skin tone to the exact body skin tone. All right, so that's the prompt. Let me let me read that once again. Blend the face skin tone to the exact body skin tone. Okay, there you go. Then we're going to make use of a partner model here, the Con Flux Context Pro. So go on this icon, click on this, and under the partner model, you can find it there, Flux Context Pro. Click on that. Then we can now already start generating the image. Just click on generate. And there you go. The skin tone from the face is same with the body skin tone. Well, that's more like it. Okay. Now, there you go. Well, we're not yet done here because we're still going to blend the beard on the face. And not only that, we're also going to start removing those distractions around the head. Yeah, those halo-like thing. Okay. Now, to fix that, we're going to create a selection with the use of the lasso tool. So going on to the toolbar, let's go to the third tool. The lasso tool looks this kind of icon. Yeah, click on that. For the options panel, I'm going to select on this, add to selection. So we can create more multiple selections. Then I will be start creating a selection on the beard and on the chin of this, on the face. Okay, something like this. There you go. And also, on the edges of the hair where there are distracting halos. Okay, so something like that. All right, that seems better. We already have a selection on the top and also in the beard. Then let's go and click on generative fill. Now we're going to type down here, blend the beard to the chin. Okay, so there you go. Blend the beard to the chin. Then let's go. And this time we're going to change the model so click on this icon once again a while ago we just make use of the partner model but this time okay so we're going to click farfly image 3 or you can also choose the farfly image 1 what works best for you okay so in our case farfly image 3 then let's go and click generate 
And there you go. All right. So they can you can go to the properties panel and check on the other variations or on the contextual taskbar. Okay, but let's go to the properties panel. Here's the first variation. Here's the second variation. Yeah, this one looks cleaner than the first variation. And here's the third one. All right. So it's up to you which one is the best. Well, in my case, I'll be choosing the second one. And there you have it. Now, let me show you the before and after. This one is the before, and this one is the after. And that is how to head swap with AI in Photoshop Beta.